In this problem, we're told a hammerhead with a mass of 2 kilograms is allowed to fall onto a nail from a height of 0.5 meters. What is the maximum amount of work it could do on the nail? Why do people not just let it fall, but add their own force to the hammer as it falls? So we're going to be solving for work here. And so you need to know that work is equal to the mass, or well, it equals force times distance, uh, times the cosine of theta. But keep in mind, the force acting on it is just mg, right? So it's going to be the force due to gravity. So mg times d, which is the distance, times the cosine of theta. And so they give us all this information here, so we just have to plug it in. But first, let's write it down. So they tell us the mass is going to be 2 kilograms. So mass equals 2 kg. Uh, gravity, we know, is just 9.8 meters per second squared. Right, so we know that, and then the distance it's going to travel is going to be 0.5 meters. So 0.5 meters. And then theta. Uh, so theta is basically going to be the angle between uh, the force and the direction it travels. But keep in mind, it's going to be falling down, right? So the force uh, pulling it down, right, is gravity, right, or the force due to gravity, so mg. But keep in mind, the direction it travels also down. So there's no angle here. It's just going to be zero degrees. So in this case, theta is just going to be equal to zero. So... If we go ahead and solve this, work equals the mass, which is 2. And make sure when you do this, it's in kg, meters per second squared, in meters. And when you use those uh, values, you're going to get it in joules. So plugging it in 2 times gravity, which is 9.8, multiplying it by d, which is the distance, times the cosine. And so in this case, theta is equal to 0. So the cosine of 0, you need to know, is just 1. So really, we're just multiplying it by 1. And so when you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get, so let me go ahead and do it, 2 times 9.8, and then multiply it by 0.5, and then times 1. If you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 9.8. And so keep in mind, it's going to be measured in joules. So you can just write J or joules or whatever you want to do. So this is going to be the work. And so for the second question, why do people not just let it fall? So the reason they do this, uh, they add their own force, is because it's going to increase the kinetic energy of the the hammerhead, right? So, and the kinetic energy is basically uh, going to allow them to do more work, or the hammerhead to do more work. So, hopefully you understand that, but that's going to be the reason. And so, the work for this problem, 9.8 joules. And so, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.